Now we're walking to the factory across the street. Start of move from rough area to cut off saw area to rip saw area to finish area to molder area. So how do they make the brass from the scrap? So let's see. Now we are walking to the factory across the street. There is a complicated process of making handmade wooden furniture. This process to include the cutting, bending, molding, laminating, and assembly of the wood. After that, adding and placing metal, glass, plastics, and wickers as needed. In a handmade wood furniture factory, the wood stock moved from rough area to cut off saw area, to rip saw area, to finish area, to molder area, to table saw area, to bend area, to shaper area, to drill area, to carver area, and then to a variety of sanders area. After that is staining and adding fabric and accessories. So the process, as you guys can see here, it is very, very complicated. When I walk into the factory, I can see all the hardworking people working here. Really, you have to appreciate all of this hard work to produce such a beautiful, beautiful piece of furniture. One of the interesting part of adding accessory to the furniture is making brass. So how do they make the brass from the scrap? So let's see. So what's the first step? So what's the first step? Our couple. Our couple. Our couple. Our couple. This model, the model that was lesson to handle it out. Lesson to model. Lesson to handle it out. For our couple, we're not going to handle the model. We're 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 going to handle the model. In this oven, it takes five hours, two thousand degrees Celsius. Like I'm just I'm. I'm, I'm moving close to the oven and it's a very, very hot. And then after that, they take the, the liquid brass, they pour it into this mold. And once they pour it into this mold, within 15 minutes, the brass became solid. Then they take the solid piece and they, then they go through the process. The process is cleaning and then putting the pieces together. So the first thing what you do, first thing you have to create the mold, whatever you want to do. So this is the mold. After you create the mold, then you have this standard mold. This standard mold, you take the mold for the piece and you put it inside the standard mold and the standard mold is filled with sand. And then after that, you close it. And then on the other side of the mold, 
there is an opening or a hole, that's where you pour the grass, the liquid grass. And the liquid grass, they, they make the grass liquid 2,000 degrees. So they have tools almost like a screwdriver set. Each piece makes a different curve uh, or different look. So let's see, that's the whole. That's how much of the tail they keep adding to it. The whole has been like a tail. The first time I put it on, I put it on the floor. The floor, the floor, the floor. We tell the full the floor is there. Full the floor is not there. The floor. And after that, the floor is pushed on the floor. We push it on the other side.
So this is the model room. It has so many styles. Look at this style, this is like one piece. <laughs> so this is very much like all what you see on the furniture. Very much like every single piece you see on the furniture, you're gonna find a fish. It's saying like all of these models, he made them himself. And he knows exactly if, if I'm gonna go through all the models. He arranges them. Look, look, look how many pieces. And there is no label, nothing. But he knows exactly where every piece is. He knows exactly if somebody asks him for a specific piece. He will walk into this room and he will find the key. And look here, this almost like a magic. Because look at look at the pieces here. Look how many pieces. He knows where every single piece is. That guy right here. In the next few minutes, Mr. Ayman Muhammad Muhammad Mustafa, who is the brother of the owner and an artist who works in fine art furniture company will explain to us how he makes brass pieces. In real life, he will make this brass piece. So let's start. 
first step, he is making a move, matching a picture that he has. As you see here, he is curving and creating the mold from scratch. You really need to be talented artist to do that. When I spoke to him earlier, he told me that he's been doing this job since he was so young. The process is very complicated and takes long, long time. And really you have to be so patient to do this kind of work. It takes hours and hours to create the mold. As you can see here, he is just going through the piece, cleaning and curving to make the mold as nice as he could do. Once he created the mold, he will go over it and detail it to match the picture that he has or to match the design that he created earlier. Once the mold is created, then he is melting the metal in 2000 degrees Celsius oven for about five hours. This step is so dangerous because of the oven. As I'm watching them, I really appreciate their hard work and dedication to create these beautiful brass pieces to be added to the antique furniture. After that, he took the mold he created earlier and he placed it in a sandbox to create the void shape in the box for pouring the molten metal, as we explained earlier. Then he goes over the sand shape to make sure that it matches. Also he, make, also, he is making sure that there is no extra sand over the design. You really have to be so patient to do that. After he poured the molten metal in the box, he waited for about 15 minutes to cool down. Then he removed the piece from the box. After that, he went to through multiple steps, as we explained earlier, to complete the final product, including cleaning the brass piece after taking it from the box and removing any extra edges, removing the dust from the piece, creating more design and curving edge on the piece, sanding and polishing process to remove any extra edges, adding extra details to the piece, 
adding edging, shining, and details to the piece. Final touch and apply coating. Adding gold coating and bake in 200 degrees Celsius oven for about one and a half hours. Now all what I can say is, wow, wow, wow. At the end of this video, I would like to thank Mr. Ahmed Mohammed Mohammed Mustafa, the owner of Fine Art Furniture Company, for letting me record his beautiful showrooms, and Mr. Ayman Mohammed Mohammed Mustafa for guiding me through the fabrication areas, and Mr. Mahmoud Mitwali for being with me through the entire recording and giving me an overview of this marvelous place. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit Fine Art Furniture website. Stay safe and talk to you on my next video and goodbye. I'm very pleased to introduce one of the best antique furniture company in Asia and in the world, Fine Art Furniture. At the end of this video, I will show you how this beautiful furniture is made. So let's go. With the painting, the showcase with the painting, the table in the middle with the painting. Look at this fine, fine details. The first section that we visited uh, related to classic furniture. This is the second section. Hello guys, this is one of the most beautiful and unique furniture. To subscribe to my channel once you click into any video you'll get this screen if you find that the word subscribe in red it means you are not subscribed once you click into it it will change the gray so red you are not subscribed gray you are subscribed thank you so much for watching my video